friends this question from quadratic equations j means just observe the question carefully so what is the given concept here for quadratic equation c minus 5 x square minus 2 cx plus c minus 4 equal to 0 the given condition is c not equal to 5 let s be the set of all integral values of c okay for which one root of the equation lies in the interval 0 comma 2 and its other root lies in the interval 2 comma 3 so one root lies in the interval 0 and 2 and another root lies in the interval 2 and 3 then the number of elements in s right so how to solve this just observe the procedure what is the given quadratic that is c minus 5x square minus 2cx plus c minus 4 is equal to 0. So you know that the complete quadratic nature depends on x square coefficient that is a. If x square coefficient is greater than 0, here let this is case 1. In case 1, I am making the c minus 5 as greater than 0. Right? If x square coefficient is positive, your graph should be like this. Clear? If x square coefficient is positive, your graph should be like this. So in this case, first case I am taking the coefficient of x square is positive. For positive coefficient in quadratic equation, what is the graph? Yes, this is the graph. Clear? Now, come to the given points. One root of equation lies in the interval 0, 2 and other root lies in the interval 2, 3. So, very good question. It covers the nature of or location of the roots concept. Good question from J. Mates 2019. Right? So, observe here. So, you know that this curve intersect x axis at two points. So automatically these two points are what? Roots. Right? So one root lies in the interval 0 and 2. Let the one root is alpha. Let this is 0 and this is 2. What is the second interval? 2 and 3. Another root lies in the interval 2 and 3. Right? Yes. You can write it here. Clear? Now clearly, when the second root is beta. Now, alpha is lies in the interval 0, 2 and beta is lies in the interval 2, 3. Easy one, right? Now, observe the conditions. For 0, yes, it represents positive value. So clearly, we can represent f of 0 is greater than 0. Right? What is f of 2? Yes, it's downwards. So f of 2 is less than 0. How it is downwards? Yes, graph is. We always are x values. By substituting x, we get y. This is y point. Comes under x axis. So that is negative. Then what is f of 3? Again, goes up. f of 3 is greater than 3. Right? So, try to solve all these inequalities. Try to get equations for this to get the answer. Right? So, see if c minus 5 is greater than 0, what is our case for x square coefficient is positive, that is c minus 5 is greater than 0. So, that implies we can write c is greater than 5. This is our first one. Now, check f of 0. Right? So, let the given function is fx f of x is equal to given, right? Now in place of x write 0. So here what we get? This is 0 and this is also 0, right? So is equal to c minus 4. According to the graph, f of 0 greater than 0. c minus 4 is greater than 0. So here, what is your case 1? c greater than 5, right? This is the our particular value. So write all these values on the base of this value of a. Clear? Yeah. So, if c minus 5, c minus 4 greater than 0, here we have to write 
the appropriate inequality values for this on the basis of c greater than 5. Right? So almost if c greater than 5 will substitute. So I clearly given the set of all integral values. Let me think about integers only. So for c greater than 5, so what is the first integer? Yes, that is 6. Good. Now 6, 7, 8, up to so on, all these are satisfies this inequality. C greater than 5, substitute 6, 6 minus 4, 2 greater than 0, 7, 7 minus 4 greater than 0. So on the base of C greater than 5, we have to write the values for this. So here C greater than 5 satisfies this inequality. Therefore, answer for this, we can take, I am taking here C greater than or equal to 6 for our terms. Right? On the base of C greater than 5 only, we have to write solutions for all these inequalities. Remember that. Why do that? That is the case for first case we have taken as good x square coefficient is greater than zero. Good. Now come to the next f of two. Substitute x equal to here two square four c minus five into four c minus five into four minus two c of two plus c minus four. What is the value? Four c minus twenty minus four c plus c minus four. 4c gets cancelled. Then this is nothing but c minus 24. Clear? So c minus 24. So according to graph, f of 2 less than 0. Here c minus 24 less than 0. Right? C value on the base of c greater than 5. Right? C greater than 5 and c minus 24 less than 0. Just think. So what are the possibilities for c here? c minus 24 less than 0, c minus 24 less than 0, c should be less than 24, then only we get negative, right, very good. Now, what are the c values here, you can tell c should be uh, in between, why will c greater than 5, in between 5 and 23, you can take 23 also, no problem, don't take 24, if you take 24, what you get 24 minus 24 equal to 0, but here you have to get less than 0. On the base of first case, that is c greater than 5, we have to write c where there is a technique here. So for second value, this is your answer. Yeah, c must lie between 5 and 23. Right? Or you can take, so here for integral values, so for c greater than 5, the next integer is 6, you can take 6 also no problem, 6 less than or equal c less than or equal to 23. All integers. Clear? Good. This is the last one that satisfies this inequality. 23 minus 24 minus 1 negative. If you take 24, 24 minus 24, you get 0. That's not correct. Why do you It should be less than 0. Clear? Good. Now come to third condition. What is the third condition? f of 3 is greater than 0. So find f of 3. In place of x, in place of x, write 3. So this is c minus 5 into 9 minus. 2c of 3 plus c minus 4. Good. Now find this. This is 9c minus 45 minus 6c plus c minus 4. Right? Straight. So I call it this. Yes, very good. It's a very simple process. Just location of root constant. Good. Now 9c minus 45 minus 6c plus c minus 4. So clearly this is. Uh, 3c plus c that is 4c minus 49 right 9 minus 6 3 plus c 4c 45 minus 4 that is 49 so what is the equality there greater than 0 very good 4c minus 49 greater than 0 here you can take c greater than 49 by 4 what is 49 by 4 12 point something right so 12 point something, so you get c is equal to 13 to up to so on. So here you can take c greater than or equal to 13. Again on the basis of this, so you have to take, right? What is the first one? c greater than 5. On the basis of this, you should take third case also, right? So 49 by 4, 12 point something, integer you have to take. Why? Because s is the set of all integral values of c. Yes, very good. Now c greater than or equal to 3. 
So how many values we got? C greater than 5 on the base of C greater than 5 we are writing values of C for these 3 inequalities C greater than or equal 6 6 lies C lies between 6 and 23 C greater than or equal 30 Write all these on a number line Right? So now here I am drawing the number line Right? Very good Now simple one So first one What are the visible values here? Yes check 6 13, 23. 6, 13, 23. There plus infinity, here it is. Minus infinity, no need to write. C greater than or equal to 6. First inequality. C greater than or equal to 6. Start from 6 and move like this up to so on infinite. Next. C greater than or equal to 13. Greater than or equal to 13. Start from here, moves like this up to infinite. This is the second line. Now, third one, C, line between 6 and 23, right? So, this is 6. Start from here and end here. Now, clearly, it's visible. What is the intersection area? Way to find all these three lines, right? So, at 13 and at 23, right? So, clear three picture we have. Good. Now, we need to get that. Now, what is your answer? Clearly, C belongs to 13 to 23. So, you observe here, 13 greater than or equal to, 23 also greater than or equal to. So, you can put closed interval 13 to 23. Write all integral or integers between 13 to 23. Now, check. What are those? C is equal. Here, I am writing 13. Next integer, very good. 14, 15, 16, 17, up to so on, 22, 23. Good. So, how many integers from 30 to 23? Ah, no, 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 it's not 10. Yes, it is 11. Count from 13, right? So, 30 to 23, it is 11. Therefore, in case one, number of, number of integral values, Integral values for C is equal to 11. Right? Number of integral values for C is equal to 11. So, in case 1, what is your answer? Number of values for C is 11. Clear? Students, now note it down. So, very good concept. Very good question from quadratic equation J means 2019. Note it down. Is there any doubts? Yes, very good. Very simple concept. In first case, we have taken as x square quotient is possible. So completely, just try to understand this question. If you are perfect in location of the roots, definitely you can. Right? Complete? Good. Now, now come to the second part. What is the second part? Here, the in this question, the no information about this x square quotient just has given the basic point that is c not equal to 5 that is the basic condition of a quadratic if c equal to 5 what happens here x square becomes 0 clear if x square is 0 there is no quadratic that is the basic condition but to solve this question we have to get two different cases the first one is a greater than 0 and the other one is a less than 0 in case 1, already we have taken x square quotient as greater than 0. In case 2, what do I do? Yes. Just simply take, simply substitute c less than or c minus 5 is less than 0. That implies c less than 5. Clear? If x square quotient is, if x square quotient is less than 0, what is your graph? Yes. That is also the basic point. Your graph should be like this. Clear? Now, so for C less than 5, again, the basic point given comes with 1 root line between 0 and 2. This is alpha, this is beta, these two are roots. Why? The graph curves x axis. Therefore, the values are known as roots. Right? Now, where is 0? This is 0, this is 2, this is 3. According to condition, right? 1 root line between 0 and 2, another root line between 2 and 3. Finish. Now, what is the this value graph downwards therefore f of 0 less than 0 whatever 2 yes upwards f of 2 is what greater than 0 clear whatever 3 again downwards f of 3 is what less than 0 
things. So come like rivers, right? So Gauk rivers, Kalsar rivers, right? Now write according to the condition. So f of zero are going to be there. That is c minus four. Here you should take less than zero. C less than five. Sorry, C less than four here. C less than four. Good. Already on the base of first case. So the what is case two? C less than five. On the base of C less than five only, you have to write this value. C less than four. C less than five. No. Right. So C less than four. All C less than five values comes under C less than four only. So no problem. Now f of two is what? C minus 24 only, but f of two is what? Greater than zero. Greater than zero. C minus 24 greater than zero. Right? So e minus 24 greater than zero means. So what is this? C greater than 24. Now you have to take C values on the basis of our condition. What is our condition here? C less than five. Here our condition, basic condition is C less than five. But here C greater than 24. Here, yeah. the original condition C less than five. Here, this says C greater than 24. How is it possible? Here, in case we have to take C values, all C should be less than five. But this condition says C greater than 24. Is it possible? No, not possible. C less than five means you get four, three, two, one, zero, all negatives. But here it says C greater than 24. So we can't write on the basis of C less than five. Right. In general, you can write C greater than twenty four, but here you have to write C values on the basis of this condition. Why? Because what's your case here? A. What is A? X square option less than zero on the basis of this here we got C less than four. Right. So C greater than twenty four becomes right. So no solutions for this. No solutions for this. C greater than twenty four. So so the second case is not possible. Clear? Of course, the factorial is a zero problem, but no need to try it. So why because here we can't write the values, we can't take the values, we can't take the values, we can't draw the graph. So C less than five is not enough problem. So you should consider only one case. That is the previous case. What is that? Yes, that is x square coefficient. Coefficient of x square should be greater than zero on the basis. We got C values as yes, 13, 14, 15, 16, up to 12, up to 23. So finally, how many values? That is 11 values finished. So number of solutions, right? The number of elements in S, all are integer, we have taken 11. So for first option, is correct. Clear, students? Just follow my YouTube channel. Here you can watch all maths as well as physics video lessons. Right students, bye bye. Other students, note it down. If you have any doubts, send your doubts to www.capacityiatmeet.com. Clear? Bye bye.